Welcome to Electro Online. Now that we understand what the equation of a line is, and we understand that it's y equals the slope of the line times x plus the y-intercept, or y equals mx plus b, now how do we take an equation and convert that into the graph of the line? How do we graph the line given the equation of the line? Well, there's certain steps that we need to follow, and so let's Go over here, here's some of the steps written out. It says first, rewrite the equation in the form y equals mx plus b. If it's not, not already in that form, and this one is not in that form, we must then convert it to that form. So we need to move the 2 to the other side, and so we end up with y is equal to x minus 1 minus 2. So when I subtract 2 from both sides, I end up with a 0 here and a negative 2 there. And then we get y is equal to x minus 3. Now we have the equation in the exact form. If you don't quite see it, you could write it like this, y is equal to 1x minus 3, and then you can see that m, the slope, is equal to 1, and b, the y-intercept, is equal to negative 3. So once you have the equation in the y equals mx plus b form, that's how we say that, then the next step is find the y-intercept. So here, negative 3 is the y-intercept, that's equal to b, and so you find the point negative 3 on the y-axis, and you know that the line will cross through the axis at that point. Now, of course, you're not sure yet in which direction the line will point, but you know that it's going to go to that point regardless of what the direction of the line is. The next thing you do is you identify the slope, m, and so here you can see that m equals 1. And you realize that m is defined as the slope. And the slope is defined as the rise over the run. That means that is if you go along from one point of the line to the next point of the line, you will go up one unit and, well, no, you go up the rise and then you go to the right, the run. And so you need to find that right relationship. So if m is equal to 1 and we want to write it like a fraction, then we have to write that m is equal to 1 over 1. In other words, the rise over the run is the change in y over the change in x. How much does y change when I follow the line and how much does x change when I follow the line? So what that means here is I start at this point and I know that the change in y is 1 and the change in x is 1. That means if I go to the right one, so from here to here, so where x equals 1, then y changes it by 1 as well, so I go up 1. So this here is what we call the run. And this here is what we call the rise. And so we can see that we rise 1 for every run of 1. So I go up 1 for every run of 1, and then again, I go uh, for every run of 1, I go up 1. So you go plus 1, plus 1, that's this point. Plus 1, plus point, does this point. Plus 1, plus 1, does this point. So you can see that all those points are aligned on the same line. I guess I have to write this a little bit tall like that. Okay. And then if I connect all those points, I have the graphical representation of that line right here, which can be, of course, written as y equals mx plus b. So, in other words, the ratio of the rise to the run is 1 to 1, and therefore that's what the line looks like. You start at the point where it crosses the y-axis, and then you find the next point by rising 1, running 1, rising 1, running 1, rising 1, running 1, rising 1, running 1, and so you find all the next points on the line, and you connect those, and that is how you graph the equation. So the question is, do you need to run, do you need to go one to one? And so you can also say, well, if the slope is one, you can say that m equals two over two, or m equals three over three. In other words, starting from this point, you could rise three and run three, and notice then you go directly from this point to this point, and then you connect them. So sometimes, if the units are small, you may want to jump more units at once, and so instead of going one to one or two to two, you go three to three or four to four, and you can draw it like that as well. Or any equivalent. Or any equivalent, that's right. Any equivalent. 